So you just leveled to level 80 and you want to look cool? Well, in this video, we'll go over some armor sets you can use to level up your outfit game. Quick note, this video is for the fashion end game. So stats on the gear you get might not be the best. And I'm focusing on gear that is relatively easy to get. The first and easiest to get is probably going to be your order armor sets. Whether you join the Vigil, the Order of Whispers or the Priory, each of these orders has their own armor set you can buy with a variant for each weight class, light, medium and heavy. The Vigil sets can be bought at Vigil Keep in Gendaran Fields from Crusader Era or Armor Requisitioner Kamotli. For the Priory, you'll want to head over to Arcanus Brakai in the Dermot Priory headquarters in Lornar's Pass. And lastly, the Whisper Secret Armor can be bought from Armor Requisitioner Betcha in the Chantry of Secrets found in the Blood Tide Coast. All of these sets have great potential to use as a whole, or get the individual pieces to mix and match your own unique look. Another easy one is the Cultural Armor. Every race has their own Cultural Armor that come in three tiers, level 35, level 60 and level 80. Depending on the tier though, these can get quite expensive, up to 30 gold for the level 80 chest piece. The upside of these armor sets is that they will probably suit your character very well, as they are race specific. For humans, you'll have to go to the upper city in Divinity's Reach, right here. Azura will have to go to the Creator's Commons in Ratasum. The Char's Vendor is found at the Imperator's Core in the Black Citadel. Norn will have to head to the Great Lodge in Holbrak to find their vendors. And lastly, our Silvari players can find their vendors right here at the Quester's Terrace. Alternatively, all of these sets can be purchased from the Skrit Trader in the Borderlands and Eternal Battlegrounds in World vs. World. The costs for the items here are halved, though you need to have Badges of Honor. Another one of the easy sets are the ones you can loot. Different loot brackets have a chance to drop different sets with the exotic quality dropping from level 62 all the way up to level 80. These can all be bought from the trading post, and the last one can also be gotten as a named set with some decent stats. Another alternative way to get really easy gear in different tiers is to craft it. Pick up tailoring for a number of light armor sets, leatherworking for some cool medium sets, and armorsmithing for some tough looking heavy sets. If you've managed to save up some karma, you can also get the karma sets. Each piece of the set costs about 42,000 karma, and the full set will push you back 252,000 karma, so do think carefully if you really want to spend that. This is a good way, however, to get a cool looking set at level 80, with some good base stats like Berserkers. You can find these at the cathedrals in Ore. Alright, stepping it up a bit, we're diving into dungeons this time. Doing dungeons will reward you with the Tales of Dungeon Delving. These can be used to buy a number of sets, all themed after the different dungeons. This will require you to do some group content though, but with a good guild, this should be a piece of cake. The vendor can be found right here in Lion's Arch, and there's dungeon sets from Ascalonian Catacombs, Codicus Manor, Twilight Arbor, Sorrow's Embrace, Citadel of Flame, Honor of the Waves, Crucible of Eternity, and the Ara Dungeon. This is a total of 8 sets you can gather to mix and match to your flavor. All of the armor sets so far are available to you with just the core game, so no expansions needed. While an entire set is really thematic and looks good, it's also fun to mix and match and create your own unique look to help you stand out from the crowd just a little bit more. Alright, heading into Living World Season 2, we have the Carapace set and the Luminescence set. Carapace set is the base set you'll get by playing through the storyline, as well as participating in content from the Silver Wastes. This gear can then be upgraded to the Luminescent set by individual piece collections. Now that's quality armor. The collections for the Luminescent set are easy, but require a bit of work. Now after Living World Season 2, we head into the Heart of Thorns, where we get the Bladed set and the Laystone armor set. The Bladed set can be acquired in a number of ways. You'll get parts by doing the story, achievements, or even just during the metas, so most likely, if you just play through the game and participate in events, you'll get a good number of this set already. The good thing about this set is that the stats can be selected. Now the Laystone one might be a bit trickier to get, but definitely still doable. A Laystone armor box is rewarded by completing the story mission, Hearts and Minds. Furthermore, you get pieces by doing the Dragon Stand meta, achievements during this meta, random drops from Noxious Pods, 
and they can be bought from the Whispers Keeper in Dragon's Stand, using currency from all the Heart of Thorns map, which can be quite costly. Now each expansion brings with it their own set of armor, with most of them being available by mostly playing the storyline and filling in the rest with collections from their respective maps. Path of Fire, Living World Season 4, Icebrut Saga, the latest End of Dragons, and not to mention the Gem Store. All of these have some amazing sets, but I think we've covered a good number already and you're well on your way to creating a good and unique look with these gear pieces. I want to end the video with a great tip for you all, and that is the following. While in game, type slash wiki armor and hit enter. This will open up the wiki page for the armor sets. In this page to your right, select the character you want to preview the sets on, and you'll get a list of all available armor sets in the game. This will give you an idea of what is available and how to get it. It definitely beats standing at your bank and previewing every piece in the wardrobe for hours on end, huh? Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to boop that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Until the next one though, take care my friends, and bye bye.